guys, this is Cody from Dropping Hertz Car Audio. We're here today with a new amplifier on our bench. This is going to be the new Dropping Hertz 3000.1. Um, we're going to make bring in a small batch of these just to see how they do. Um, we're going to we're here with our test bench today and our amp dyno. We're going to put it through its paces and see how it does. Give you an idea of what we're using for our battery bank, how we're going to supply the power. The 14 XS Power S1400s. And we're using one of our excess power PSC 60 amp power supplies. That's going to be helping supply the power for our amplifier. And we're going to be using our amp dyno. We're going to be testing in two modes. We're going to run certified and uncertified mode. And we're going to be testing half ohm, one ohm, two ohm, four ohm. Um, we are planning on offering a limited half ohm warranty standard with this amplifier. Uh, without further ado, let's get to the test. Alright, we're going to start in certified mode. Now certified mode tests to one, up to 1% 1 harmonic distortion. And if you have a DD1 from SMD, uh, you can understand what that is. And we'll work our way down. We are going to start at 4 ohm. And you see our starting voltage here is going to be 16.57. Again, that's our starting voltage. We're using 14 volt batteries. That will get drawn down. The voltage you want to look at is what our ending voltage is. Go. There we go. The 4 ohm test probably isn't going to draw our voltage down too hard. Alright, there we go. 1140, 15.19. Now I will rerun this on our 12 volt bank. That'll give you a little other, a little different numbers. We're really using the 14 volt bank here to give our one ohm and half ohm numbers. I will show you those two and four ohm on a 12 volt bank later. This is going to be two ohm certified. kind of see our power supply here so you can see the screen what it's helping out put the, the voltage it's putting out or actually the amperage it's putting out all right we're gonna run one ohm certified now Thirty-two hundred sixty watts, one ohm, fourteen point three four volts. That is right along with where we're going to rate this amplifier. Uh, we're going to this rate amp will be rated for thirty-two hundred and fifty watts at one ohm at fourteen point four. All right, now we're going to drop it down to half ohm. Now I want you guys to remember, this is a half ohm resistive test. It's a pure half ohm load. There's, there's no rise. It's pure. The amp is seeing a solid half ohm. And ready to go. Very nice. 4318 watts certified half ohm. And we got dropped down to 13.63 volts. Okay. Let's get out of certified. We're going, going going into uncertified mode. And we'll just see, amp is still cold. All right, we're going to start at four ohm. Let's work our way down again. We're running the same exact test. We set our track. All right, the only difference here, uncertified data mode. This, as it says, it runs two clipping. Here we go. Twelve hundred thirty nine watts, four ohms, fourteen point seven five. So we got two of them. Twenty 
Down to our one ohm load. And then we start our turn. I'm going to let our voltage catch back up here for a second. Let's see if we can get that to reset. There we go. And our track is ready to go. There's a nice number for you. 3779 one ohm 13.89. Wouldn't be too far fetched. If you can hold a solid 14.4, you get close to 4,000 watts out of this amplifier at one ohm to clipping. Alright, now for the big number. We're going to drop her all the way down to half ohm. Again, remember this is a half ohm resistive. This is not this is a pure half ohm load. Let our battery bank catch up here for just a second. Let's see where it's still putting out 22 amps. Let's reset. Okay, and we're going to test starting at 14 or 16.43. This is an 18 volt stable amplifier. Track is ready to go. This is half ohm, uncertified to clipping. Half ohm, uncertified, 5,180 watts, 13.39 volts. Very nice number right there. All right. I'm going to switch over from our 14 volt battery bank. I'm going to hook up over here to our 12 volt bank. Hey guys, Cody with Dropping Hertz back here again. All right, we still got the DH3000.1 on the bench. Now we've switched over to our 12 volt bank of four excess power D7500s. We are going to run these first tests, our four ohm, two ohm, and one ohm test with our power supplies off. Basically simulates vehicle off. Gonna get try and get somewhere in our 12, 11, high 11 to 12 volt rating. Um, see what she does at 12, as close to 12 volts as we can get. Get our certified. All right, we're gonna start four ohm. All right, we're starting at 12.87. Our track is ready. All right, 787, 4 ohm, 12.49. We'll only be going down to 1 ohm with the power supply off. I will do half ohm testing once I turn the power supply back on. I'm not not trying to really trying to break anything. Again, these are with, this is with the power supplies off, simulating vehicle off 12 volt. Fourteen thirty, twelve point one five two ohm. And we'll go down to one. Okay. I expect to see uh, somewhere in the 11 volt rating for you guys who uh, don't have upgraded batteries, upgraded alternators, and some people that just like to see low voltage. Oops. Twenty two hundred twenty watts, one ohm certified, eleven point seven three. All right, we're gonna go to our uncertified testing. We will come back and do our half ohm testing here shortly. These batteries are pretty drained. I tested this amp pretty hard on them a couple days ago, and have not had a chance to charge them back up. All right, this is gonna be uncertified to clipping, twelve volt testing. Track is ready to go. Oh, 
keeps it on. 828 watts, 4 ohm, 11.9 volts. Dragging it down pretty hard here. Not giving these batteries any time to recover. Hit it with 2 ohm. Fourteen hundred twenty-six watts, two ohm, eleven point five volts. All right, we're gonna drag this one down pretty hard. Right, this will be the last test we're doing. Let the charger off. She's gonna give these just a moment to recover. She keep the charger on for a second. I'm gonna try. I don't want to drop this thing down to the ten volt range. Kick our charger on down here. You see it's going to be putting out 60 amps, close to. Give it just a minute. Get the batteries a little bit more juice to play with for this one ohm test. Okay. No. Just top them off real quick. We'll reset the dyno. No, we didn't really do much other than give them a slightly higher resting voltage. All right, I'm starting at 12.79. Got our track ready to go. This is going to be an uncertified one on the clipping 12 volt test. There we go. 2612 watts, 1 ohm, 11.63 volts. This is uncertified. All right, I'm going to top these batteries off before we drop them, drop this thing down to 12, or down to half ohm, not trying to drop it into the 10, 9, 10 volt range. I will be back shortly with our half ohm test on our 12 volt where the drop and hertz 3000.1. Hey guys, Cody from Drop and Hertz back here with you again. All right, we've got our batteries topped off a little bit, just left them a little charge for about five minutes. Realistically, I'd like to let them sit for a couple hours to top off, but that's what it is. All right, what we're going to run now, we are going to run our Drop Harris 3000.1. We're going to do 12 volt half ohm testing. Um, this is going to, this time I am going to have our 60 amp power supply running just to try and supply a little extra voltage uh, to help the amplifier out. All righty, we're going to run certified and uncertified half ohm test. Dino's ready. You see we're sitting right about 14 volts. Pretty realistic starting voltage for most daily drivers. And our track's ready to go. There we go. Certified half ohm, 12 volt test, dropping arcs 3000.1. Half ohm, 11.69 volts. All right. One more test. This is going to be our half ohm uncertified. All right. Starting voltage going to be a little bit lower. Our supply is on. Track is reset. And here we go. There we go. Uncertified to clipping half ohm, 3,753 watts, 11.44 volts. Not too bad. Out of our new, this is the new Drop and Hertz 3000.1. You guys stay tuned, we're going to have pre-sale information. We only have a few of these coming to try out for now. Um, if we're successful with them, everybody likes them, we will move forward and bring in a larger batch. Just don't want to take that risk before we know how everybody's going to like them. Now, let the dyno speak for itself. There's your numbers. Uh, 
Hope you guys enjoy. Um, hope y'all are as excited about this amplifier as we are.